Um, also pretty fun this morning. Take a look at the sunrise. Yes. You're down. Yeah. Yeah. We are getting color. so lucky here. No clouds out there. So instead, we're bringing in the color. Gorgeous sunrise all around the region. I'm trying to find all of our mountain uh, views that I can here. So each of these cameras hosting a view of a uh, mountain, mostly Mount Hood. But we have uh, Mount Rainier, or excuse me, Mount St. Helens and Mount Adams in the picture too. Mount Rainier a little too far north. But it's a cold start here. Portland is actually sitting at 40 degrees, one of our warmer areas as we kick off this Wednesday. A lot of spots around the valley close to freezing or in the mid 30s. Hillsboro there uh, out west, a spot that is at freezing. So there's a good shot. We have some patchy frost developing uh, from the coast to here in the valley all the way out towards uh, the gorge here. Now, how does frost form or not? all at freezing, but frost can actually form when the air temperature is maybe in the mid 30s because uh, most temperature sensors are actually above the ground by about five to maybe 12 feet. So it might be a little warmer just above the surface, but down near the grasses, down near the sidewalks, even car windshields, it can be freezing. So those surfaces that are at freezing can have those water molecules in the air condense onto them. So when we get to this cold uh, of a morning here and we've got clear skies out there, these are the favorable conditions for fall. Uh, for frost, uh, light winds, moisture in the air from recent rain that we had earlier in the week uh, and temperature starting off in the 30s. We can build up that frost, so good chance we have some patchy frost around the area here as we kick off our morning. And this is about the time of the year that we start to put a, a, a close on the frost forming out there. The average last chill or frost uh, with temperatures around the mid 30s here tends to happen on the 18th of April, which is tomorrow. So we're in that zone where uh, any gardeners out there, maybe you can start planting those more sensitive or tender plants uh, because we tend to put an end to uh, those real cold overnight lows. And as we look towards the week ahead tomorrow morning, Thursday morning, Friday, Saturday morning, we start to warm up again. Those lows back in the 40s to even lower 50s by Saturday. So much more mild overnights ahead for us. So any folks uh, planning uh, some time in the yards and the gardens to get to more planting, I think you'll be OK uh, as we head throughout the rest of the week. Now here's our satellite and radar. Not much going on outside. High pressure starting to build up, which is our pattern here, bringing us the warmth and the sunshine this week. There it is as these cold pockets to the sides here are scooting out the door. We still have this upper level trough, this cold pocket that might bring in some cooler air by Saturday and Sunday. So temperatures falling a little, but this is not a large area uh, of uh, low pressure. It mainly stays up north, so we'll likely dip back towards the 60s, not expecting a big change this weekend. We also might see a few possible light showers, but our pattern is mainly sticking with sunny, warm and dry as we head throughout the next handful of days. So uh, enjoy the weather here. Beautiful, uh, beautiful for the coast too. low 60s to upper 50s out there. Cold morning too, but a warmer afternoon we will bring back the sunshine today for a lovely afternoon. We'll warm up quickly too and likely hit the uh, mid 60s to low 60s up and down the valley and in Portland today. Just a near perfect spring afternoon under the sun at least in my book here. So get outside and take advantage of this weather. We'll track some windy conditions Friday, but we are dry the rest of the week and expecting temperatures to bump towards the 70s by tomorrow. All right. Sounds great. Nice to see the sun icons on there. Thanks, Kelly. Well,